Did you know that MK11 Raiden is a bad card? And I will show you why. This way I wanna already give a huge shout out to a subscriber of mine, Bojdar. A little while back we did a little experiment trying to find out about the damage of MK11 Raiden's special one. And we all kind of had the feeling that it does way less than it actually should do. So we came up with the idea to go to battle mode, the final tower, and just perform special one attacks with characters who are basically about the same strength as our Raiden. Mine is Fusion 3 right now. And the character who comes the closest in stats is my Silver Ermac. So now we are performing special one attacks with Ermac with a little countdown so you actually can see how much damage the special one does and how many are needed basically to defeat this team. During these fights I will only use Ermac and MK11 Raiden and when I'm tagging out that just means that I'm trying to absorb special attacks. So I added Diamond Kenshi with some health equipment so he can absorb those. And as soon as I feel safe enough, I just tag Ermac back in and we continue the damage. To make this video a little shorter, I of course cut out all these tagging situations as you can see here. Because the only focus should be on the special ones and the damage they do. And Ermac is about to defeat Melina after 8 special ones. Another thing we try to make sure of is that our characters will not benefit from any other characters like health boost, damage boost, whatever. And I also only put the shuriken on both of these characters simply because of the block break on basic attacks so we can get to the special one attacks faster. Here the special one stats, just in numbers. Now we switch to Raiden. So of course he will also only have the shuriken. In his case I added Shao Kahn to the background simply because he has incredible health. He can absorb a lot of stuff. And I feel we're sitting here a little longer with Raiden. And also since Raiden is no outworld character, Shao Kahn's passive will not kick in during this fight. So he will just be there to block and absorb special attacks. Now we're already at the second special one. Another thing you might have noticed is that I didn't reach 100% with Ermac swipes in the first battle. Which is due to update 2.0 since then swiping is almost impossible on my devices. No matter if I play with the pad or the phone it's all the same. It's incredibly hard even to get to 60 or 70%. While these other special one mechanics uh, like the ones Raiden uses, it's pretty easy to get to 100%. So technically Raiden should even have the advantage because we can go always to a full 100% damage. While Ermac basically creeps around with 60, when lucky maybe 70%. We would now need technically two more special one attacks from Raiden to match up with the damage that Silver Ermac did. So this should be the kill blow. But as you can see, Melina is not even halfway down in her health. So we add number nine. That did nothing. Adding number 10. Seriously, this character is a disaster when it comes to special one. And it's actually so sad because he would be really good. Like his basic attack with combo enders, disabling combo enders on the opponent team is an incredible mechanic. 
His special 2 damage is awesome. His fatal blow damage is awesome. The animations look great. But those of you who follow me on Twitter have seen this already. I've complained to the game developers and I got the response from McPack. And while I'm gonna wish you a good one, let this one sink in.